Iran is one of the world's oldest continuous major civilizations, and although there are modern-day negative stereotypes projected onto the country and its people, the only way to really find out what lies behind the veil is to visit. Let us introduce you to our network of off-the-beaten-track locations and peoples who care deeply about celebrating and sharing the artistic, religious, and intellectual traditions of Iran. Here's a taster with photographs from one of our previous visits. We explore the pre-Islamic castle and Rayan citadel in Kerman. We stop in at Mahan for a visit to the 15th century Sufi shrine, a haven of deep spiritual contemplation for the Sufis. This is the Bagay Shazdeh, or Prince's Garden, a 19th century green oasis in the midst of the surrounding desert in Maimond, where the modern society has lived in hand-dug rock houses for almost 3,000 years, we check in on artisans creating their wares, much like they have done for eons. Yazd, known for its very studious and religious people, is also center of Zoroastrian culture in Iran. There we find Dakme, the Tower of Silence, a circular waste structure used to expose the dead in a sky barrier. Still in use today, we visit the Zoroastrian Fire Temple, holding a fire that has been kept alight continuously since 470 AD. These wind or ventilation towers are inseparable parts of the architecture of central and southern Iran and have provided natural air conditioning in this hot climate for thousands of years. The wind tower in this garden stands almost 110 feet tall and is considered an architectural masterpiece. Oh, I love Rumi and Hafez. Shiraz, the city of poets and beauty, the resting place of poet Hafiz. So this is a 4,000-year-old tree known as Sari'i Abargo and is considered an Iranian national monument. Persepolis, the 6th century BC ancient ceremonial capital and world heritage site with monuments like the Gate of All Nations, Palace of a Hundred Columns and the Palace of Darius. Next is a visit to Sheikh Lotfala, the first women-only mosque in the Islamic world. What a great place to visit. In the remote and traditional village of Abayane, we will greet people who have kept their ancient traditions, costumes and dialect intact for hundreds of years. We're going to go to Isfahan, a beautiful city the Persians called nest e yahan or half the world, meaning to see it was to see half of the glories in the world. A walk through to Nask Yahan Royal Square, second largest square in the world. It's easy to imagine that this was once an entertainment site and the main polo ground for the Safavid kings. I'm Scylla Utney and I'm the CEO of Cross Cultural Journeys and I would love to see you on one of our trips very soon. Thank you.